Welcome to XLM Solutions EPDM Batch Print PDF Tool Task Add-in. We are going to demonstrate how our task can create prints or PDFs of different file formats and files in different folders within EPDM. We have this batch print folder which has a SOLIDWORKS folder that contains a SOLIDWORKS assembly and children with all files having drawings. We also have an AutoCAD folder which contains an AutoCAD file in it as well. We're going to execute our batch print task through a menu pick that brings up the batch print GUI. This GUI can be totally customizable. It can run from a menu pick or it can run from a transition with or without a GUI involvement. We will type in now the files that we want to be printed. For this demonstration, by typing in just the assembly name, it will print the assembly and all its children. We're also typing in the AutoCAD file for the other directory. And we will now fill in some custom specific attributes for the files that will be dynamically added to the print or PDF when the print happens. Again, these fields or how data is determined to be printed is totally customizable. We have a dynamic job number we will enter, and in this case we are creating a PDF file. All the PDFs will go into the same folder as that job number. We can select a printer or to create PDFs, in this case we're doing PDFs, and we're going to hit the print button. You see all the files to be printed, you get a message of all the files to be printed. Now we're on the server. On the server, we're going to open up all files to be printed in SOLIDWORKS, dynamically add the values to it, and print or create PDFs for it. After SOLIDWORKS finishes, the same procedure happens with AutoCAD. Now that the prints are done, we can go look on our server and see that we have a folder with the job number and all the files to be printed for that job are put in that folder. Looking at a folder, you can see that the PDF was created with the dynamic values added to it. In EPDM, you can see the task that ran that created the PDFs can have custom information to help determine what was printed or any error messages if there was errors during printing. The controlling of how printing is set up and designed is also configurable through an XML file. We can determine the list of printers, page sizes, and names for the printer. We can determine what various custom or dynamic attributes will be put on the print, where they're located, and the font and size of those attributes. Also, we can configure other custom attributes in the file that we want in our GUI to show up. Thank you for the presentation. If you have any questions about EPDM's batch print or PDF creation tool, or have any questions about EPDM in general, feel free to contact XLM Solutions per the info on the screen. Thank you.